What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Okay, I just finished editing the video and I'm so, so excited for you guys to see everything that we found in the bags. So without further ado, this is part two of my Curb Alert haul. I started opening this bag already, I'll be honest, but then I had to do an outfit change because it didn't look, it looked weird in the video. But what I found, okay, is these. Remember in part one, I found that vintage Old Spice shaving mug from like the 50s and 60s. I found two more and the cup, the mugs are in here. And these are, um, I talked about this in my last video, but they're like marked at like $40 sold. So I'm super excited. They're milk glass, which I just learned that term. I, they feel kind of like ivory to me, like if I knew what ivory felt like. So like, <laughs> Pilgrims wandering around. So we got two more of those. I already have one listed on my Poshmark um, and then now I have two more to list, which is so cool. So there's those, we found those before and then this pumpkin decor. So those are the three things I'd opened out of this bag before I went and changed. I'm gonna point the camera down so that y'all can really see in there. Okay, so here we go. This is another one. I found this yesterday, one of these cheese crates from Kraft, and it sold already on Poshmark. It sold super quick. This one is actually in a lot worse condition. It's like cracking down the spine or whatever it's called. You can see these are garage sale leftovers. They're asking $2.50 for this. Here's this vase. And all of these newspapers I can totally use for my own packaging. But here's like this beautiful glass green vase and there's two of them. There's nothing on the bottom. They look old. They're big too. So there's those. Here's just like a jar. Oh, this has words on it. It says... Oh wow, it says Borden's. Yeah, I think that's what that says. Borden's. But there's like, I guess this might be like an old milk jar. There's a few of them. There's a little smaller ones. Here's another one. That'd be cool if those were actually old milk jugs that they used to like drop off on doorsteps. Okay, there's some papers. More paperwork. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, cute. A little welcome sign. Ooh, this is pretty. Here's like a tiny little glass. See, all of this is so pretty. Like the way that the glass is cut and everything. I really like a lot of these. hanger. Hi. Pilgrim's hanging out with us back here. Okay, here's a stopwatch. <laughs> here's a few stopwatches. I don't know if they work. Here's another one. <laughs> so we got some stopwatches. Very cool. Ooh, a big old jar. This is a half gallon so it doesn't say a name or anything on it. But there's a big jar. <laughs> Here's something that looks like a little hot dog bun, but no, no dog in it. Oh, look, it can go right on this plate. Maybe we'll find the rest of the meal. This is cool. A cup. This is like something that goes over like a kerosene lamp, I think. It has like an open end on both sides. That's kind of neat. Maybe we'll find like the whole lamp. Cute! A little basket! Oh, it still has like this seal in there. That's really cute. Here's another one. And the lid. I guess. No, I don't think that's the lid for that. That doesn't really fit on it. Uh, maybe like that. Maybe. I'll leave it on there for now. Oh, a turkey. 
your side and this one you see it? <laughs> so there's a little turkey guy i always look at the bottom because a lot of times that'll have like oh look it's right here 1994 can y'all see it I don't know if it's focusing on it, but 1994 and it has a stamp. So that's why I was looking at the bottom. I thought it might be there, but I guess on some of them it's actually there. So let me look on this one and see. Well, this one actually does have something on the bottom. It says made in China. So this one might not be like actually old or valuable, but maybe some of the other ones that are from the 90s could be more newspaper. Aww. Made in Taiwan. Little bunny, he's got a carrot in his mouth. I'm surprised that a lot of this stuff actually didn't break. Like the way that we just threw it in the back of the truck and everything, I just am surprised that it's all still intact so well. Okay, we've got notebooks and they're empty and a book, lots of notebooks. How cool, these will be great. That one has a couple pages written in it. But I'll definitely donate these to like a school or students or something. Oh look, an elf on the shelf. <laughs> there he is. Put him right there. So cool, lots of spirals. Because this person, and I talked about this in the very first video, but because they were a teacher, they have like so much stuff that's like decor for the classroom, which I'm sure is what like a lot of this stuff is, is that they have different decor for the different seasons so that they could decorate the classroom. So it's actually really cool. So far I've found Easter, Halloween, Christmas, these little pilgrims maybe are Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving could be the pumpkin. So yeah, there's like a lot of cool stuff. Some, these are actually good. I'll keep these to price stuff at garage sales. Those are perfect for that. Another notebook. It's got a little writing in the front, but not really anything else. Oh, cute. 1989, a little thermometer. And that probably does work because it is like 85 in our house. <laughs> We're getting the AC person to come out tomorrow to fix it, but it's so hot. So yeah, this probably works. That's really cute. I love the little cats on it. We're getting to the bottom of the bag. This, uh, blank index cards. Nice. All right. So. That is the end of that bag. I'm just gonna stick the one thing of trash back in there. And I'll throw it over here. <laughs> and there's Pilgy. What you working on? Hi. <laughs> Hi. Oh, what's on you? A little bit of fuzz. <laughs> Good boy. Little intermission to pet Pilgrim in between each bag. <laughs> Okay, so there's everything from the first bag and we'll go on to the second. <sighs> Ripping it open is always so exciting. Oh my gosh, all right. Okay, what do we have? This bag looks very different than the others. Right off the bat, it looks very, very different. Like I wouldn't have guessed this is from the same place. Oh my gosh, there's a ton of picture frames on that side. I guess I'll just start pulling some of these out. Oh my gosh, <laughs> this is so cute. That's adorable. You can see it's like colored with crayon. I like that a lot. Okay, so there's, I think, is that Yosemite Sam? I think. Yeah, it's gotta be right. He's got his little football going on. Okay, so there's that. Here's some brand new wrapping paper, although it's like, you know, dented a little bit, but that's okay. Yeah, some gift wrap, lovely. A lot of these frames, maybe it looks like fell out. 
That might be the back to that one. That one doesn't have anything in it. I'm gonna set some of these to the side so that I can make sure that they like have their pair. So I'll just set them over there for now. Oh wow. Oh wow. Oh, it's his birthday gift. This is 1986, July 22nd. Bless this child born today. Guide him safely on his way. Grant him love without measure. Thank you, God, for thy treasure. Oh, that's so pretty. It's crocheted. That is beautiful. If anyone's name is Christopher, you could have a new, you know, baby embroidery. <laughs> that's really cool. I like that. Uh, here's a little bit of potting soil. There's still a decent amount in there. That's cool. What's in here? Just a shirt. Here's just a little tiny shirt. <laughs> that was in this bag. Okay. Oh, yes! Seeds! So many flower seeds. Are they all sunflowers? Oh my gosh. How cool! I want to plant these in our backyard. Oh, it says, it says sell by 2015. Are seeds still good? Five years past the best buy date? I don't know. Y'all let me know. I kind of want to plant them regardless because like they could still grow. That's really cool. I'm very excited about those. Here is <laughs> some color cups, all for dyeing Easter eggs, still in there. Very cool. Okay, what's this? I'm very, oh, I already can see exactly what this is. This is a bag full of shirts. Oh my gosh. Yes. I bet. For her classroom, they were gonna do like a tie-dyeing thing or something. These are so cute! And they're all brand new. There's so many fun colors. That's cool. I wonder if Alex could use these somehow for his sewing projects. Cause these colors are really fun. They remind me of Six Flags for some reason. All I think about is Six Flags when I'm looking at these. Okay, so, oh, let's count, let's see. One, two, three, four, 19, 19, 20, 21, and I'll put this one with it, 22. 22 new little Gildan shirts. They are all size small. Nope, there's some mediums. These are all youth shirts. So they're like youth size, small, medium. Very cool. All right, whole bunch of shirts. We will set these. <laughs> I'm running out of space. Let's put them um, right there. There we go. Okay, gloves back on. What's this little guy? Aw, it says Mary. It's something for Christmas. It's kind of heavy. Ta-da! What is this? Oh, oh, cute. It's a little coaster set. How cute! So there's four little Mary coasters. Oh, for, <laughs> this is so weird. For decorative purposes only, do not contact with food. So maybe you're not actually supposed to put your drink on them. That's, I've never heard of just decorative coasters before. But that's really cute that they come in like their own little box. Oh, oh my gosh, here's more. More color cups, we now have three color cups brand new y'all pilgrim wants to go outside right now but he actually has gone to the vet a couple days ago because he's he has a hurt back paw and he's like limping and so he's not allowed to go outside unless it's you know he needs to go to the bathroom but we're supposed to put him on a leash even to take him outside then so 
Pilgrim is going through some stuff, but he's overall, he's doing okay. If, he's going to be like wandering in the background all anxious though, because he's wanting to go outside and chase squirrels and he's not allowed to right now. So, okay, maybe he does need to go to the bathroom. Okay, we're taking a break. I'm going to let Pilgrim <laughs> go outside with me to go to the bathroom and we will be back. Okay, so let's get back into it. This Might be a bag of pine cones. <laughs> it is a bag of pine cones. <laughs> uh, I don't know if they're real or decorative. They don't smell good, so <laughs> there we go. A bag of pine cones, probably good for crafting, maybe. I don't know. I could just like throw them into our backyard and see what happens. This is just a sheet of Plastic, I think. I'll just throw that over there. Oh my gosh. Wow. Is this a is this a Barbie? Is it oh no, it says it can wear Barbie. This is a prima ballerina. Look at her. 1985! Once upon a time in a magical flower fairy tale land, there lived the three most beautiful ballerinas. Oh, that is super cool. Okay, so here's a doll, kind of like a Barbie doll from the 80s. Super cool. I wonder if there's, is that another one? Oh my gosh, no, it's another color cups. Now we have four color cups. <laughs> Okay, there's a bunch of those, but I'm super excited about this. Prima Ballerina Flower Princess by Creata International for ages four and over. Wow. I How cool would it be if um, the other two were in here and we got like the whole set? I'm going to have to look this one up for sure. Okay, there's another doll. All right. <laughs> Another color cups. We're now up to five color cups. That is so funny. And what's this? Oh, I thought this was another one. Cute. Foam shapes like little chicks, little baby chicks. How adorable. And what's this? Um, some Velcro fasteners. So these are craft stuff again. Lots of crafting stuff. This is really cool. Okay, there's just like a straight up brick in here. <laughs> it's got like all of these like, like dirt dauber mess in it. Okay, some spiders and stuff. I don't think I need to keep that, but y'all let me know if this is important to keep. <laughs> I'll set it over there. Okay, I want to get that blanket out of there, but also I kind of don't because I'm nervous when I lift it up, it's going to be like really dusty. But, oh, y'all can't even see in the bag. <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> Hold on, I'll point this down. Okay, so this is the blanket I'm talking about. I don't want to pick it up because I think it is going to be super dusty. It's got like a couple like little rat poops on it. Um, but it has a really lovely interior, so I'm just going to not open it up, and I'm just going to try to move it to the side. Okay, we got, oh, cool, um, some comfy seats for watching, like, sports. Let's go sports. Two of those, his and hers, very cute. I'm surprised they're not the Arkansas pigs. What are they called? Razorbacks. <laughs> the Arkansas pigs. Doesn't quite have a ring to it, does it? We got, oh, beautiful. We got a little picture of like Bambi. I don't really know if it's specifically Bambi, but it's like a little baby deer. It's cute. Oh, gorgeous. A little shadow box with some cute flowers in it. Put this back on because there's some broken glass in this bag um, from all of the picture frames and stuff. Here's a 
This is like something and you draw it back and then it kicks. I don't know what it's supposed to kick. I'll put that to the side. <laughs> Trash. Trash. Oh, more cups. So a few more of these. I'll put them all together. So there's those. So there's a few cups. Okay, what else is in here? There's a lot of trash bags. Here's another little cup. Oh, fun! Here's a bag full of little cups and plates. Okay, so there's some cute colorful plates and cups and bowls. Ooh, a fancy fork. This is definitely real silver. By SSS by Onida, Oneida. Look at how pretty this is. And the way that it's like just kind of tarnished is what's making me think that it is real silver. So I'm not 100% sure, but it looks really pretty. Maybe there's more. It's very like ornate. So I'll set that there. That's trash. Also another cup. Oh look, a fork. Oh, this just looks normal. Oh no, it's kind of pretty. What does it say? Here's another fork. It says Custom Craft Stainless Korea. So I think this one, stainless steel, is that what that means? Possibly. So another fork. I don't think people say stainless um, silver. Stainless silver? I don't think people say that. I don't know. Y'all tell me. <laughs> another trash bag. We got some random trash in here. Another bag of pine cones. <laughs> okay, and then the other stuff is like the broken frames. Um, some of them might not be broken, so I'm going to try to keep them together as much as possible. Okay, so there's one. And then the rest of this bag, I'm just going to leave it in here. It's all together. It's, um, all of the picture frame, like, backs and stuff. Oh, here's a tiny clipboard. Cute. Okay, so there's a little clipboard. Um, but I'm just going to leave these in here for now so that I can look through them and try to put like the actual picture frames together that go together, like the little backs and everything. So all of those I will leave in there and we are moving on to bag number three. So bag number two is done. My house is getting filled with stuff. This is wonderful. All of this stuff over here. So we got two more bags still. Oh my gosh. This is insane. <laughs> I did a little bit of cleaning so that I have some more space to like lay stuff out. And we're on to bag number three. This is crazy. Okay. Keep in mind because sometimes I forget all of this stuff was free on the curb. Like this is a lot of money in here and all of it is free on the curb. So just a reminder <laughs> to look for curb alerts in your area. Be on the lookout for them as you drive by. This one might be trash. It's a lot of trash. Okay, so we'll open it up. We'll look. Okay, <laughs> we got some stuff. I'm just gonna pull the trash out. I don't feel like I need to explain what every piece of stuff is that I'm throwing out. No way. It's a sealed cabbage patch 25 piece puzzle, 1984. Still got the seal on it and everything. adorable to me. There's a puzzle. That's really cool. Okay, so Cabbage Patch Kids Puzzle. It's not all trash. 
And this thing looks kind of heavy. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is their family tree. It's spelled different than me though. Look at this beautiful thing. This is like a custom made family tree wall hanging. That's beautiful. That's so cool. I don't know what to do with it. I doubt anyone is gonna have this exact family, <laughs> but it's still cool. I guess somebody could paint over it. Like you could paint over the hearts and you could put your own family name. That'd be pretty cute. Um, these are something, what are these things? Little cones? Oh, doo -doo -doo. I bet they're that thing. You like yell into them maybe? Drug free in 93. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, cool. Well, I don't really know what those are, but there we go. Some, some school memorabilia. What is this a bag of? Oh, this is a bag of fishing stuff. I'll give it to my friend who loves to fish. This stuff's cool. It's like, you can see there's like a bunch of lures in here. This is a diamond point fish hook. Diamond point? No way. <laughs> Super limp. I don't know what this stuff is, but I know it's fishing stuff. Maybe I should take, I didn't realize this bag's open. I can just take some of them out to show y'all. Oh, that one's trash. See, it's like stuff like this. <laughs> There's some hooks. Here's an actual thing. For reeling it in. <laughs> There's that. There's a lot of cool stuff in here. Oh, these are squishy and gross. Oh, these creep me out. I don't like these. I don't know what they are, but they feel too much like real bugs. And then there's just like tons more. There's like a ton of lures, a bunch of hooks. It's cool. I'll keep all this together back in here. Okay, so there's a bunch of fishing stuff. That's neat. Um, are these vintage Nike shoes? Oh my god, please have the other one in here. I don't know! But what if these are old, you know? Made in Thailand? When was Nike making shoes in Thailand? These are cool. They look like my size. They are my size. Oh my gosh. Okay. These are some really cute Nike shoes. And I don't know, like, oh, look, the tags. Oh no. I thought that the tongue had something more on it, but it just says Nike. These are really cool. And look, I bet they were a cheerleader. These were their cheer shoes. And that's what the, these are too. So, oh my gosh. I'm just, this is just a cheerleading channel now. I'll just show you guys like cool chants I can do. <laughs> I don't know what cheerleaders do. <laughs> okay, but. This is really exciting. I'm super pumped about these. I hope that they, I mean, look at those. They look old, right? That would be really cool. Okay, there's that. Oh, oh my gosh, this person's name is was Kelly. This is the Kelly on the family tree. I actually maybe am supposed to be a cheerleader now. This is so cool. It kind of looks like me, right? <laughs> Okay, there she is. These are cons. Oh my gosh, these are Converse. Oh my gosh. It says cons 
cheerleading. No, just cheerlead. Cons cheerlead. I bet these are my size also. There's the other one. These, I've never heard of Converse being called cons before. And the bottom says Converse on them. Holy cow, this is cool. This is very exciting. Some like vintage shoes can be worth a lot of money. Here's more pom poms. Another seat. I think, yeah, that's just like a seat to sit on. It says 93 cheerleader. Aww. <laughs> a little Girl Scouts thing. Is it? I think it might be ripped unless it's just a sash. Maybe it goes like around. Other way. What? How's it upside down still? I don't know. Okay, look. It's a cheerleading, or a, a Girl Scout something. It's cute. It's, I don't know what it is, but the patches on it are cool. And then it does have a tag right here that says, made in USA. Oh, it does say it's a sash. So I just am not smart enough to know how to put a sash on apparently, but it is a Girl Scout sash. That's cool. Uh, we got, I'm not going to pull all this out because like that stuff that was leaking, it has it on it, but these are like some gloves. Uh, here's like a wooden stick you can like, you know, protect yourself with. This is trash bags. Oh, how cool. We got a big old bag full of bird seed. Yay. We have lots of birds in our backyard, so that'd be fun to throw that out there for them. Put that over there. What do we have? What is this? It's a thing, it says Zolon on it. Certifies that this Enchanted Forest miniature plate is authentic. Do you think it's in here? Oh, sad. It's not in there. Darn. It has the authenticity thing. Oh, wow. It was $43. Hold on. It says a, pl a $43 plate at $28 while they last. I'm very pleased to let you know we found a small number for you. Plates in perfect condition that we can offer at $28. They send that out? Is that how they get sales? That's wild. Oh yeah, and then you just fill it out if you want one. The way things worked before the internet is always kind of baffling to me. Like you would be like, yeah, I want it. And you like send this back with like a check. <laughs> I don't think that's funny. Okay, well darn, I maybe we'll find the plate somewhere else. So I'll hang on to all this because we do still have that whole other bag to look through. Okay always handy to have around is a box of screws. There's some random cords in here. Here's another dustpan. Weed killer in this bowl. That's cool. A um, dish towel that's pretty dirty. I'll throw it over there with the blanket to wash. It had chickens on it. This. Ooh, another doll. It's a Shirley Temple doll. Oh my goodness. Cool. She has a little sheet with her. Oh my gosh, this is the receipt. This was bought, well, this says it was a book and they bought two. I don't think that this is what they bought. 
I don't think this is the doll. It says it's ten dollars for two at five dollars a piece. I don't think that's this doll. But I'll keep it in there just in case y'all say it. Yes, it is. <laughs> um, okay, so this is a set of from 1983 CBS toys. So, wow. Shirley Temple, they had a stowaway, they had Heidi, they had the littlest rebel. I don't know any of these characters. They have Rebecca of Sunnybrook Farm. That one sounds kind of familiar. They have Poor Little Rich Girl. Are these like shows that were on TV in the 80s? <laughs> that is the coolest thing. I am obsessed with all of these dolls that this person had. That is so neat. Okay, let's put this back on. The plastic on it, there we go. Okay, so, a Shirley Temple doll. And I bet that that will sell for sure. Like that seems like something that people would want even now. Shirley Temple, such a well-known name. All right, what else? Oh, I do love this. This is super 90s looking, just like a cheerleading cup thermos thing. That's really cute. This bag is getting stuff everywhere. I'm gonna have to sweep again after this bag. Okay, there's a bunch more gloves. This is honestly good. I can use all of these gloves after I wash them up. Here is a cute bandana from 91. I guess it goes around your neck maybe, or on your head. Very cool, put that with the cheerleading stuff. Um, a cup, it does have my name on it, but she spells hers wrong, K-E-L-L-I-E. -L -L -E. Whenever I was in like fifth grade, I thought it would be really cool if I just like randomly changed the way that I spelt my name. So I started spelling it like this for like a couple of months. I don't know why, I thought it was cooler, um, but I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I was doing. I was like 12 years old. Um, what else? We got more trash bags in here. We got like a box cutter, which is honestly probably pretty handy for me to just like keep in the truck because there have been times in the past where I haven't been able to get stuff open. So I'll hang on to that one. And that is gonna be it for this bag. The rest of the stuff, these gloves, um, a lot of, uh, wires that I don't really know what this would go to but and then a um a wheel <laughs> I mean here's a nice cool pair of scissors oh and they have a bottle opener on the other end that's cool these are tradesmen quality cutting tools we'll be the judge of that let's see yeah, they cut. Ta-da! <laughs> they cut right through it. Okay, cool. So the rest, uh, the gloves all wash, and then the rest of the stuff in this bag is trash. Okay, I will set this to the side. I'm gonna sweep real quick, and then we'll dive into the last bag. Okay, last bag. I'm so excited. This bag's kind of light. In the past bags, that has been not really a great thing. So hopefully this last bag is not disappointing. It does have a large tear on the top and I can see maybe something cool. So, okay, there's some cool stuff in here. <laughs> this is what I can see. Oh, it's a Fisher Price Play Family A-frame and it's so cool. I want to live in this house. Where's this, the little bell? Oh, it's over there. It's a little dinner bell. Dinner tree. Okay, that's adorable. Uh, so now there's this Fisher Price and there's a schoolhouse Fisher Price also. So this is really neat. Oh, where are my new scissors? Ah, yay. Oh, wait, are you not? <laughs> I feel like I always do them right towards me, like just, you know, it's fine. Okay, these scissors don't work that well on plastic, I'll give you that much. Okay, we've got some cute little mice. 
very adorbs. We have this, which I really like. It's like a sorting thing, or like maybe you hang it on the wall and put like tiny little decorative items in it. But it does have right now some cheese, 1983. Some little cheese with a little mouse and his little butts on the other side, super cute. And what's this one? A little owl. So there we go, a little owl, little thing of cheese, and this cool organizational thing. Oh, it does hang on the wall. It has little hooks on the back. That's actually really cool. I like that a lot. Okay. Ooh, lots of papers. Where's my trash one? Oh, I used it for something else. I'll just set them over here. Okay. We got Dick and Jane reading book set. How cute. Oh my gosh. Look, Dick and Jane. Pam, Penny, and Sally. New words you will learn in this book. Get at me. <laughs> Just get at me. Mike, oh Sally, go get Tim, get Tim, go get Pam, get Pam, run Sally, run. There's a ton of these, there's, it's the whole set. Look how many books that is. Oh my gosh, those are really cool. They have these stickers in the back that say good job on them. I love that. That's so cool. And it even has the book that it comes with, or like the um, container. I'm like really in love with this. And it's got a little handle. It was uh, 10 bucks. <laughs> Cute. Okay, so there's that. Um, okay, there's like a ton of these. Board it. Oh, bulletin board decoration. Cute. These are awesome. I bet teachers still use these, you know? Maybe. There's all of those. Here's another one. Okay, classroom stuff. I don't my gloves back on. Okay, I was wrong. This bag is very cool. <laughs> Just because it was light, I, I judged it and I shouldn't have. Okay, more pine cones. We got three whole bags full of pine cones now. Oh, more bulletin board stuff. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Another bag of pine cones. This person loves pine cones. Some little plastic plates. Ooh. Okay, this swordfish. Oh, this bag is like ocean themed. Look at this cool stuff. This whale I feel like I used to have as a kid because it looks really, really familiar. Here's a seahorse. I bet this was all like decor, you know? Oh, cute, a little fish. We, we uh, this is what happens when you throw trash away that you shouldn't, when you throw away usable items. Sea creatures get hurt. Look at all of them all tangled up in there. This is honestly sad because it's like a representation of our oceans right now. I'm gonna leave them all in here because I don't feel like taking it all out, but it's really cute. There's like a lobster, there's another whale, a starfish, a crab. There's all of that stuff. Okay. Oh, cute. Oh my gosh. Learning materials. <laughs> This is super cute to learn your colors. And then there's like these cute sea guys. 
And then on the back is the alphabet. And I literally remember this exact alphabet thing being like hung up in classrooms when I was a kid. That is so cute. Oh, cute and more. There we go. And on the back is a 2002 calendar with a bear on it, very adorable. Oh no, oh no, I'm all out of space. <laughs> okay, classroom stuff. Another whale, lots of these whales. Some snow, fake snow, very cute. Wonderful winter dominoes. Let's see if it's in here. Oh, cool, they are. They're cardboard. Very cool. Okay, here is some cute little decor. Little owls made out of seashells. Very creative and cute. A little mouse who's like a little, a little peasant mouse. So cute. Here's this. This mouse glued onto a stone. This person seems like they were probably like the best teacher in the world with how much like, like adorable little gifts that they've been given by their students and everything. Oh, I thought this was gonna be matches, but it's a tiny mouse. <laughs> it's like a little mouse sleeping in there. That is super cute. It has a little pillow. Aww. Is it a gnome? From 2000, it's a Crazy Mountain Gift Company. Congratulations, you now own an authentic Crazy Mountain product. Cool, <laughs> that's really cute. Oh, and then look, it can hang. Adorable, I love it. I'll take it up to Gnome Cone so that they can use it. Aha, okay, this, <laughs> bag literally fell apart when I tried to pick it up, but we finally found the wiener to our hot dog. <laughs> I was really hoping we would find it. And in this is also some pepper that we can do some seasoning with. There's like bowls and forks and little cups. This is like the whole set of stuff. That's so cute. Oh, here's all the more plates and everything. I'm just so glad that we completed the hot dog. Oh, we got ketchup, we need some mustard. There's utensils. Okay, that's really, really cute. I'll pull all, well, I'll pull them out now, I guess. I'll forget about them. Here's some garland with lights on it. Oops, all right. There's that. A knife. <laughs> this little mouse with long eyelashes. Just sure it says hot stuff on it. And here's another tiny little mouse. Okay, that's just plastic. What's over here? Aw, lots of little baskets. Little star baskets. I don't know what shape this is. <laughs> a guitar maybe? Or a skull? Or just a random shape? I don't know. Oh, and a bell. Cute! I'm not sure what you do with these. Maybe you just like keep um, like paper clips. I could see people keeping like, you know, if you're a teacher on your desk, it would be like paper clips and safety pins and blah, blah, blah. Teacher stuff. Who is this? Ah, it's full of stuff. It's like full of, um, Probably dirt dauber wings, honestly, is what it is because it's a bunch of insect parts. Um, but it is a more bulletin board stuff. So there we go. 
Another little mouse. So cute. Oh, 1983. Two little mice sleeping in a bed. The last remaining stuff. That looks like Pilgrim. That looks like Pilgrim as a puppy. It looks just like Pilgrim as a puppy. Aww. Aww. He's so cute. I guess I'll keep that to put with the educational stuff. And we got a pack of cards. Hoyle official playing cards. So there's that, and I think that that might be like kind of the end of this bag. Um, there's like some plastics in here still, but it's trash, so I was gonna leave it in here. But I just wanna do like a final check. Yeah, all right. So just trash, lots of plastic wrap. So there's the final bag. Let's take a look at all of this stuff. This is wild. Okay, so here is everything. A little bit messy, but that's okay. This is like all of the school supply stuff. It'll look a lot better once it's organized and all sorted. There's all of the like tiny little mouses, <laughs> mice. <laughs> Some miracle Grow gardening stuff, all of the cups, picture frames, that's educational materials and spiral notebooks and stuff, all of the bulletin boards, the Cabbage Patch puzzle, of course, very cool, the potentially vintage Nikes and Converse's, good score, my new favorite mug that I'm in love with, <laughs> and all of this stuff. So cool. Oh my gosh. Okay. That was a long one. So thank you for sticking with it the whole time. <laughs> that is all of the stuff that we got off of the curb. Minus maybe like a couple things. Cause there are some that like we, I, I still haven't gone through some of it. There's a lot. There's like still some boxes over here. So, but, um, you can join the Facebook club, um, or I'll also post it on my community board and I'll just kind of like share some of the stuff that I didn't get a chance to go through. Cause it really was just like so much. So thank you guys so much for watching. And I just hope you have a really awesome weekend. Happy Friday. Is it Friday? I think it is. Happy Friday and have an awesome weekend. I will see you guys next time. Bye.